Hello everyone. In this video, let us understand an AC voltage applied to a pure inductor. In the previous video, I explained AC voltage applied to a pure resistor. Now let us consider the pure inductor circuit. So let me write an inductor with a coil representation where we are applying an AC signal to this. Now this is the AC signal I am applying. Let me consider L is the inductance that is the pure inductor with an input voltage V is equal to Vm sin omega t. When we are going to apply an alternating voltage like this, there will be a current flowing through the circuit in this way that is the alternating current. The alternating current produces an alternating flux which links the coil and here there is an EMF induced. The EMF induced will be written as here let me call it as E dash e dash is equal to minus l di divided by dt this is minus so if we compare that with our input that is equal to minus v right so i can write it as v is equal to my sorry plus l di divided by dt now with this expression i can write the current so di is equal to v divided by l into dt to get the expression for i so i is equal to let me write uh, expand this v it is vm sin omega t divided by l into dt so here i is i is equal to vm by l integration of sin omega t dt right so vm divided by l there is a constant so if you integrate sin omega t into dt it becomes minus cos omega t divided by omega and it is vm divided by l into i am writing this minus cos omega t divided by omega i can take omega over here uh, so minus cos omega t can be written as sin omega t minus pi by 2 i am going to write in this way okay now this is the expression i got for current now i can compare the expression for voltage what i have applied and the current expression right here i will be having the expression for current in this way i is equal to i m sin omega t minus pi by 2 right here what is im im is the maximum current that is vm divided by omega l and this can be written as im is equal to vm divided by omega l here omega is 2 pi f right this is the angular frequency so i can write it as vm divided by xl also so here xl is omega into l okay this is the way i can write it as i am so here if you compare these two expressions the voltage i have applied and the current expression i am going to get here there is a difference between the phase of minus 90 degree so i can say if you write the phasor diagram if i put the voltage in x axis with a maximum value of vm and current will be having a phase difference of minus 90 degree. If we have a minus 90 degree phase shift, here you can observe in the expression I got minus pi by 2. Minus pi by 2 in radians, it is in degrees, that is minus 90. So I need to write the current in negative direction. Why? Because it is minus 90 degree phase shift with Vm, right? So these two will be having the phase difference of minus 90 degree. By this I can say current, this is Im. So current lags the voltage or voltage leads I can say. Current is lagging behind the voltage here. So there is a 90 degree phase shift between the two signals of voltage and current. And if you represent that in a voltage and current signals, let us see this is vm here you can observe the current is starting with the origin and vm is 
somewhere here the difference between these two at the origin gives the degree that is 90 or we say this is pi by 2 point this is pi this is 3 pi by 2 this is 2 pi so the difference between these two we need to take here this is 90 degree and you can say current is lagging behind and voltage is leading right and now let us calculate the power instantaneous power again instantaneous power is equal to v into i right what is v here vm sin omega t and current is im sin omega t here we will be having omega t minus pi by 2 right and it is minus vm im into sin omega t into cos omega t that will be equal to minus vm im divided by 2 i can write it as sin 2 omega t right again in this expression we will be having twice the frequency so twice the frequency we give we get uh, this is the power instantaneous if you calculate the p average if i am going to integrate this expression again i am going to put here this gives zero because of the twice the frequency i am going to get zero means power dissipation power dissipated in the inductor okay in inductor will be zero the power dissipation in the inductor is zero so in case of power dissipation in the resistor is that is vm im divided by 2 right that we have derived here in the inductor the power dissipation will be zero in the next video let us see how the ac signal ac voltage will be applied to a capacitor thank you